from the Sunshine State, Florida, the home of Dutyville, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here he is, Buffalo Bob Smith. and dads and kids, what time is it? Okay, then let's go. It's Howdy Judy time. It's Howdy Judy time. Howdy Judy. Peanuts, an old friend, who was really a young friend, is here in Dutyville to help us with our music appreciation program. And his name is Guy Mann. Hey, Guy, come on out and say hello to the peanut gallery. Hi, Guy. Ah, <laughs> uh, so good to have you here, Guy. And you know, I'm very happy to say that our music appreciation program has been going along so nicely, except for one thing. Now, you know, Mayor Bluster and our producer, Nicholson Muir, have been off by themselves acting very mysteriously, haven't they? Yes. As a matter of fact, I don't have any idea Buffalo what Bob, Bob, Buffalo Bob. Bob. Hey, it's our good buddy, Howdy Doody. Hey! <laughs> hey. Hiya, Howdy! How you doing, Howdy, oh, buddy? Oh, hi, Peanuts. Oh, uh, say, Buffalo Bob, yeah. uh, don't forget to tell the Peanuts all about Leonard Bird's tune. That's right, Buffalo Bob. Whatever Phineas and Nicholson are up to, it has something to do with a famous symphony conductor, Leonard Bird's tune. Yeah, but I can't imagine what in the world Leonard Bird's tune. I mean, he's one of the most important figures in the world of music. Now, what would he be doing? Yeah, what is it, Claire Bill? What? You say, backstage, something mysterious is going on backstage? Something mysterious is going on backstage. I'm going to have a look. I'll see you later, fellas. Now, Claire Bill, this is Bluster's place. And you're right, there's something very strange going on. Why in the world would they screen it off? Hello in there! Oh! oh, 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 oh who is it? Go away! We gave it the office! Oh, Bob! Well, whoever it is, get lost! Can't you see this is private back here? So why would they be doing it? What? You and I... Glasses. Glasses, big glass. Oh, Nicholson Muir. You think you and I should report this to Nicholson Muir? Mm, All right. Good idea. Why don't you report this to me? All right, Nicholson. What's going on back there? It's Music Appreciation Week, isn't it? Yes. Well, we're doing our part. You're not part of our part, so why aren't you at the peanut gallery doing your part? You mean... That's right. Deep part. Well, peanuts... We'll meet you in the peanut gallery right after this. Even if you don't have a real musical instrument, there are many everyday objects that can be used for making music. Some people like to use a tire pump, and others like to use a carpenter's saw. Of course, you could use spoons, too. Happiness, hmm? what's Buffalo Bob doing? Well, Buffalo Bob is going to teach me and the Peanuts how to make music with just an ordinary toy balloon. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I, maybe I better warn him. <laughs> hey, that was a good one. <laughs> you startled me. Now I'll have to blow up another balloon. <laughs> Buffalo Bob, uh, maybe you shouldn't do this. You remember oh. the last time when you tried to teach me how to play the balloon? Uh, and it was pretty funny, too, wasn't it? As a matter of fact, I'll tell all the peanuts. Look, the last time the guy was here, I showed the peanut gallery how to make balloon music. Now, first... Uh, you blow the balloon. Clarabelle, look, this is not anything for you. Sit on the chair, please. Sit on the chair. Now, you just sit there, and Guy, tell you what you do. 
Squeeze the balloon with your right arm like this. I'll give you a little accompaniment here at the piano, and we'll play Mary Had a Little Lamb, okay? okay. All right, now you come right over here. That's the way. Now you get the opening note, and I'll... Go ahead, give me a note. No, you squeeze it too hard, you see? If you squeeze it too hard, it has to break. Yeah, I, I guess I, I must have squeezed it too hard. Yeah. All right, uh, blow it up again. We'll do it again. Now, Clarabelle, I want you to stay in the chair. Do you understand? In the chair, stay in the chair. Kids, if he gets out of the chair, you tell me, okay? Now, stay in the chair. I'm supposed to... I, Go ahead, you blow it up. I'm supposed to teach the guys. Yeah, All right, now, Mary had a little line. Get the opening note there, guy. Do it again. Funny clown, no. Oh, well, get out of the chair and sit this way and face that way and just keep looking that way. And, Guy, come over here. We're going to play Mary Had a Little Lamb again, only this time we're going to play a little bit different. We're not only going to play Mary Had a Little Lamb, we're going to play a little bit of the surprise symphony in it. Yes, sir. This is going to be an electric piano and a balloon duet. Blow that up. Blow out, don't blow in. Blow out, that's fine. This is going to be, Clarabelle will love to hear this song. This, kids, is what you call Mary had a little lamb with some surprise symphony thrown in at the cadence. You know, you meet me around Dakota, and at Dakota, you're going to hear the best song you ever heard. Are you all ready, guy? All right, now let me hear, let me hear your first note now. Get an easy key. There are sharp keys again, all right. Oh, Bob. Oh, Bob. Oh, yeah, Howdy. Yeah, Howdy. What is it, buddy? Hi, Howdy. Hi, Flub. Nice to see you. Yes, Howdy. What do you want? Uh, Bob. Yeah. Uh, the, the Flub says that he has some important information for you. Oh, yeah. well, is it about that uh, funny business going on backstage? Oh, yeah, it happens to be, Bluff. I, I just came to tell you that I can't talk about it because it's a big secret, you see. Well, what's a big secret, Flub? About the Dutyville Symphony Orchestra. The, the Dutyville, Dutyville Symphony, Symphony Orchestra? Orchestra? Gee, how did you guys find out about it? Why? That was supposed to be a big secret. Boy, somebody's got a big mouth around here. Boy, you can't trust anybody I know, anymore. I know, I know. I, boy, loose lips sink ships. Yeah, I heard I'm that. I'm getting Howdy. out of here. Howdy, Howdy, did you hear that? A Dutyville Symphony Orchestra and Leonard Bird's tune. And Clarabelle saw Fletcher the Sketcher come out from behind those screens backstage, yeah. so, so he's in on it, too. Yeah. Clarabelle and Mr. Cobb, they went to Fletcher's place to sort of, you know, sort of snoop around. You know, Howdy, maybe I'd better do a little snooping on those snoopers. I'll see you later. Ah, uh, yes, very nice. Yes, but I, I think it might be more effective if the letters were outlined in, say, melon. I got a candle up in the refrigerator. Uh, no, you group. I mean the color melon. Don't, don't you have any melon color here? I, I might have one and some in the other room. Oh, good thinking, good thinking. You look in there, and I shall look in here. I wonder what's going on. I, it, oh, Fletcher's been doing some... Clarabelle. Oh, do you believe that? Hey, listen, we gotta find Fletcher the Sketcher and ask him about this. Walk this way. Oh, 
Oh, Mr. Muir. He must be late. He must be not here. I uh, can't seem to find it. I'm going to get that poster and show it to Buffalo Bob and say, where? It ain't no place. Uh, listen, someone must be around here. Hey, let's go this way. Corny, Clarabelle, Fletcher. Wasn't that funny? I sure thought I heard some voices around here. Maybe they're in here. Ah, oh, very good. Very good. Now, Fletcher, when you finish the poster, I want you to bring it to me backstage. Yes, sir, Mr. Muir. Mm hmm But what do you want me to do with it? Well, <laughs> outline the letters in melon. I think that would be peachy. <laughs> Let's see now. He wanted me to outline this in melon or in peach. I, I, I left my brush in the other room. Oh! All right, OK. Come on out, everybody. Front and center. Come out wherever you are. <laughs> Now, tell me, what in the world is this whole thing about? Ding busted buff, look at what Fletcher the Sketcher what? is sketching there. Music Appreciation Week, featuring the 65-piece Dutyville Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Leonard Birdstone. Yeah, conducted by the famous Leonard Birdstone. Huh? Yeah. Shoot. I say Fletcher. Did Phineas and Nicholson Muir, did they tell you to make this poster? Yes, Buffalo Bob. I had to outline it in, in apricot, or was it grape? Cri <laughs> Corny. Oh. A Dutyville Symphony Orchestra conducted by the great Leonard Bird's tune, and we're not going to be a part of it. No, no. Gee, what a but where are they going to get 65 musicians? I have absolutely no idea. We'll just have to find out. Well, Peanuts, I have absolutely no idea what's going on around here in Dutyville. A 65-piece Dutyville symphony and the famous Leonard Burge tune conducting. Well, all I can say is that since Nicholson Muir and Mr. Bluster don't want to let me in on their big secret, then I'm just going to continue with my own plans for Music Appreciation Week. Because you know when it comes to music and music appreciation, I think there's really nobody who loves music any more than I do. I love all kinds of songs. Give me a sad song, a glad song, a dear old mom and dad song, an old country air. La -dee -dee -dee. Sing me a June to the moon, to morning, night, or noon, to the March
You know, that was a perfect lead-in for the next segment of my music appreciation program, because I'd like to have a sing-along with all the kids. What do you want, Claire? But I'm going to have a sing-along with the... What have you got here? What is this? A hat with all letters on it, silly letters, all tangled up all around. Tangle, tangle, hat, hangle, hat, talk, hat, tangle, talk. Oh, a tangle, talk, hat. Oh, well, what, how does it work? Oh, when you put the hat on, everything you say gets tangled up. Oh, you, you wear the hat and you say things backwards, all tangled up. Oh, that, no, I'm not gonna try it now. Look, I don't have time. No games. I'm gonna have a sing along with the kids. Now, here, I'm gonna, what are you gonna do, Clarabelle? What are you gonna, what, what are you gonna, nah, the, she doesn't wanna play with a tangled talk hat. No. But you wanna try it out, huh? Well, we'll try it out. Uh, We'll try it out on Guy here. We'll see if it works. A uh, Guy, would you come in here a minute, please? Hi. Hi, how are you? Uh, guy, I just one thing I wanted to ask you. Uh, what, did, what were you doing back there? Oh, I was just kidding with the talks. Ki you were what? I was kidding with the talks. <laughs> no, you were talking with the kids. And that's what I said, talking with the kids. Oh, <laughs> it works. All right, uh, tell me one thing. Or, uh, what, what's my name? Buffalo Bub. That's... What is it again? Buffalo Bob. <laughs> no, I'm Buffalo Bob. But that's what I said, Buffalo Bob. Okay, all right, thank you very much. <laughs> hey, that's funny, the thing does work, doesn't it? Yeah, all right, look, no, I don't have time for it now, Clarabelle. I'm going to, I'm going to do a number with all the kids in the peanut gallery and all your moms and dads. Now here, do you all know the song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game? Oh, yeah. You do? All right, well now look, in case you don't know the words, I'll sing it for you once. And then after I sing it for you, you listen to the words so that we'll sing it correctly, and then we'll sing it all together. Okay, here we go. Oh, ball me out to the take game. Crowd me out with the take. Crack me some peanuts and buy nut jack. Care don't I if I back never get. Let me team, team, team for the home route. If they don't shame, it's a win. Cause it's three, two, one out your strike at the old game ball. Okay, now. Oh, you like this song, huh? Okay. Well then, if you know it, then I want you to sing it. Okay, here we go. Uh, everybody together, here we go. Take me out. Wait, wait, ball me out? No, <laughs> no, I would never ball you out. Well, how, how in the world would I ball you out? Try it once more, let's go. Ball me out. Ball me out. Why would I ball them out? <laughs> Maybe the song is too tough for them, huh? Look, I, I know an easier one. You know, twinkle, twinkle. What? Would you like to try that one? All right, here, here we go, now, here we go. Oh, stinkle, stink. Oh, stinkle, stink. What's the matter with you? Stinkle, stinkle. You didn't have this hat on all the... Did he have this hat on me all the time? Well, that's a dumb thing to do. If I'm trying to teach the kids some nice song, you don't put all a Tangle right, Talk hat. All right, already. Now, enough of this fool Tomry Buffalo Bub. Fool Tomry, what do you want to say? Oh, for heaven's sake, this yes, is your yes. idea of how to teach music appreciation to the potato pancakes? No, they're peanuts, and we've been doing a good job, Nicholson, so far. Uh, well. Incidentally, we haven't seen you or Phineas do anything for the peanuts at all. Just you wait, Buffalo Bob. Oh? While you've been singing these cockamamie songs, we've been making big plans. Oh, yeah. We've arranged for Leonard Bird's tune to come to Dutyville. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Yes, and Buffalo Bob. Yes. I want this clown to stay away. So you will stay out of sight. Out of sight. Now, you'll remember that, Clarabelle. Okay. Now. Leonard Bird's tune is coming to Dutyville, and I'm not going to be here? Oh, wow. Yeah, Leonard Bird's tune. In Dutyville, like he said, oh, wow.
Gonna miss you, buddy. So long, fellas. See you again soon, I hope. Bye, Guy. <laughs> goodbye. See you real oh, soon. Uh, guy, okay. look, uh, Happy and Howdy want to say goodbye to you, too, here. And next time you're in Dutyville, you drop by now, won't you? All right. Oh, goodbye, Guy. You know it was fun singing with you again. Sure was. Oh, yes, sir, boy, it sure was. Yes. Thank you. You know, I'm sorry I have to leave before Leonard Bernstein arrives. I'd sure love to meet him. That's right, yeah. Say, I want to say goodbye to the Peanuts. There they are. So long, Peanuts. <laughs> Stay loose. Atta boy. Good luck Good to luck, you, guy. guy. So yeah, long, old bud. <laughs> Oh, I sure gonna miss him. A real great guy. And I, Clarabelle, what in the world? Happy, what are you doing with that pie? What? You wanna throw the pie? Who do you wanna throw the pie at? I, I'll bet oh, you Nicholson Muir. Oh, Clarabelle, now, now, wait a minute, listen, wait a minute. Listen, listen. You're still know, angry with, now wait a minute. You're still angry with Nicholson Muir. You shouldn't be like that. Why no, are you gonna do this? You can't do that. Just because you're angry, if you cannot throw pies at people, especially not at our producer, right? That's right, exactly right. I know you're mad, but here, now look, I'm gonna take the pie away from you, Clarabelle. Please give it to me. After all, you should never throw pies at people, and particularly the producer. Now, believe me, I'm doing you a favor by taking it away from you. No, I'm not going to give it to you. As a matter of fact, I'd rather just, rather than give it back to you, I'd rather just throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> it's Leonard Bernstein! Oh, no! oh my gosh, it's Leonard Bur Oh, what in the world are we gonna do? Oh, Peanuts, I'm afraid we did it again. A, a world famous composer, conductor, genius of the music world. And we welcomed him with a pie in his face. Please be with us for the next show and, and see if we can get ourselves out of this one. I'm sorry, Mr. Bird's tune. I... Oh! Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Bird's tune.